Hey guys, welcome to another Reaper blog tutorial. In this video, I want to show you something really cool that you can do with automation and parameter modulation. I discovered this last week through the forum, I believe it was Ashcat told me that you could write your parameter modulation to the track when you're in write mode. So I've got the project global write mode enabled. I've got two parameters here, uh, two different frequency bands of re-EQ modulating here with a sine wave pattern and eight quarter notes and two quarter notes for the speed. If I just hit play here, it's going to start recording the sine wave sweep for these two frequencies. Here we go. Then we can just turn off these if we're in read mode or trim mode, it will start playing back what was written. But we could always change things up. We can make changes like that. We can make that flat right there. Even copy and paste this to other tracks once it's written. So I think this is a great way to get these repetitive patterns for automation. So now that you've seen how it works, let's uh, start from scratch and set it up for the first time. Probably easiest just to reinsert, re-EQ on the pad track, uh, band two frequency. We're gonna show the track envelope for frequency. Make sure it says frequency here. Let's go to band three and do the same thing. Gonna move the frequency, go to parameter and show track envelope. Also kind of tweak this to get our starting point uh, for the shapes. And now uh, this trick, writing the automation, it seems to only work when the envelope lanes are shown. If it's just going and we don't have these shown, it doesn't seem to write. Uh, it doesn't seem to follow the automation setting here. This one automatically add envelopes when tweaking parameters. I think maybe that's because I had the uh, parameter modulation set up in advance of switching into write mode. But anyways, it really helps to have this here. So we can access the parameter modulation from this menu. Hit the param button, parameter modulation. Bring this up here. Double click this to center it. Activate the LFO. Let's do a triangle wave this time. Going to tempo sync it and set it to eight quarter notes and strength of about half. So there we go. Oh, we do want this centered around this point. So yeah, right through the middle of the frequency range. As you can see here on the track, this is a button that I actually never really noticed before, but there is actually a parameter modulation button directly on the track envelope lane. Never noticed it before. So we can click that once we have the lane uh, shown. So do the exact same thing. Uh, we're, gonna do, we're gonna do this, make this four quarter notes, strength at about half. Actually, let's turn the gain down to reversed on one of them. So once again, we go to the start of the project, set our global mode to write, and we are seeing these parameters moving by themselves. And we can even switch in the middle of recording, such as to a saw wave. Switch it to square. Random. Random works a little bit better when it's fast. So this is a great way to kind of punch in different automation types and make sure that the changes are the same every time with these free running parameter modulation 
options. Sometimes it could, uh, every time you play it, it's different. So this is one way to ensure that your automation is always going to be the same every single time. Well, that's about all there is to say about this topic. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I think it's a really cool way of doing automation. Hope you've enjoyed it and found it useful. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I'm also on Patreon if you want to support the website with a monthly donation. And please visit reaperblog.net for a lot more tutorials.